Hello YouTube and welcome to Copper Jaws for the Vice. We like using this vice for small stuff more than we ever really do for big stuff. We have one outside for welding. This was spendy. This was 20 bucks a foot. Copper 110 H04 half inch by three quarters. I will snap a photo of that. Okay, that's a little bit bigger than what's in here. What we will be doing is cutting it to length. We will be locating these holes. Then we have to countersink these screws also. So that's what you'll see. You'll see a lot of pictures. Uh, instead of me talking through it, I'll give you snap shots like me with the drill press, drilling one hole, drilling the other one. I do not have any of those countersink drills. What I'll be doing is drilling the hole for the screw. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger in case I got to slide this around. Then this countersink will be a little bit bigger than what it will have to be too. So I know I can fit it in there. We're going to figure out a way to transfer these holes. We don't really want to lay this on top of the copper but we, that's maybe the only way we can do it. So We'll get to it and we'll have plenty of pictures here showing my progress. Just a quick clip where I want to show where I saw just to the right of the pencil line, scratch line, all the way around. So when I hex all this, it will follow that line. Then we will grind it on the little grinder with the diamond disc and we have a picture of that. Okay, back to work. One done and one to go. And we're done. They don't line up exactly right. That's because the vice is old and worn. Uh, this one does stick out a little more than this one back here, but we can fine tune that. But it is off like this because of the vice. I suppose you could grind some on the piece that slides in there but there we go we want to hold something that we don't want to scratch up you can even put a screw or something there here you go doesn't have to look pretty doesn't have to be exact they will get beat up they can always be resurfaced or filed down or ground or sanded but they'll take some abuse but now I can put stuff in there and not crush it with those jaws this one was broke and brazed when I got it when I got this it was broke you can see the brazing in there they're still usable they'll go in my toolbox so thanks for watching